Well, they were going, why do they blow up all the time if you're so smart? Because there, <laughs> there was this fucking idiot on television. Some guy was being interviewed, and they were talking about you. And he goes, oh, I think he's a fuckwit. And he goes, he's a fuckwit. And he goes, why do you say he's a fuckwit? Oh, his rockets keep blowing up. And someone said, yeah, well, why do his rockets blow? And I had to explain. Yeah. Because it's the only way you find out what the tolerances are. You have yes. to. You have to. You have to a few explore of them the corners of the box. So, so, like, <clears throat> so when you do a, a new uh, rocket development program, um, you, you, have, you have to uh, do what's called, uh, you know, exploring the limits, the corners of the box, where you say it's like you, worst case this, worst case that, um, to figure out um, uh, where, where, where the limits are. So uh, you, you blow up, you know, not, 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 admittedly, in the development process, sometimes it blows up accidentally. Um, but but we intentionally subject it to uh, uh, you know a, f a flight regime that is much worse than what we expect in normal flight, so that when we put people on board or valuable cargo, it doesn't blow up. Um, so, um, so so for example, for the, the flight that you saw, we we actually deliberately took um, heat shield tiles off the the, the ship, the star, off of Starship, in in some of the worst locations. To say, okay, if we lose a uh, heat shield tile here, is it is it catastrophic or is it not? Um, and we will nonetheless, uh, Starship was able to do a soft landing um, in uh, in the Indian Ocean, just uh, west of Australia, um, which as and it, and it got there from Texas in like I don't know, 35, 40 minutes type of thing. So, so it landed even though you put it through this situation where it yeah. has compromised shield. 